It's the holiday season, and just as traditional as ugly Christmas sweaters is the holiday ham. Today, we got a holiday ham for you in the pressure cooker. It is quick, tasty. You are gonna love it. It's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome back. As you can see, it's the holiday season and we're hoping that Santa is putting a pressure cooker under your tree. Whether it is a Ninja Power Pressure Cooker XL like we use or maybe an Instapot. We're here to show you all of the tips and tricks on how to use your pressure cooker, how to use it safely, and we're gonna give you tons of recipes. If you get a chance, please subscribe below, click on the notification bell. We'll give you all of our updated videos, and we've got a great holiday recipe for you coming up now. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone. It's that time of year where you know you gotta cook a fantastic meal, and why not make it super fast and super easy Holiday hams, you know you're probably gonna cook one. If you got a pressure cooker or you're thinking about getting one, you get to make a holiday ham in the pressure cooker. That will be really fast, tasty. All those flavors will come together and we got it for you today. You can see I have a spiral ham. You can use any type of ham that you want. Some bone in, some bone out. This one's already pre-sliced. It's only about four pounds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this spiral ham. We're gonna put a bunch of flavors, sauce, little bit of maple syrup you know I got to bring that some honey brown sugar OJ pineapples this is gonna be a wonderful tasting honey ham now these hams are already pre-cooked so we're basically heating it up inside the pressure cooker but all the flavors are gonna get right inside of that ham so let's show you how easy and quick this is gonna be for your holiday meal so let's start out with a can of pineapple chunks they're cubed 100% pineapple juice. And we will just pour all of that straight into the mixing bowl. Got those nice juicy chunks. Next up, we're gonna put in one cup of dark brown sugar. You can use regular brown sugar if you want, but start mixing that up just a little bit. I put in one, not quite 12 ounce bottle because we're gonna save a little bit of the orange juice for our cocktail of the day, but we put in about eight ounces of OJ. Give that a stir, mix that up nicely. We're going to put in just a splash of rice vinegar for a little flavor. Gotta have some honey. So we'll put in about two tablespoons of honey. Even though it's more of a honey ham, you don't need a ton of honey. Of course, my New England background, gotta have some maple syrup. So we're gonna do a tablespoon of maple syrup in there. Adds a nice little flavor. And then we're going to put in just a couple of spices. We have some ground allspice, maybe about a teaspoon or so. Put that in and some ground cloves. Open that up. Put in about a teaspoon of ground cloves. And last but not least, a splash of Worcestershire sauce. There you go, maybe about uh, a little bit more than a teaspoon. And those are the ingredients for our sauce that's gonna be drizzled over this ham and cooked inside our pressure cooker. Look at that beautiful sauce. Now we're gonna put our ham in our pressure cooker. You can see I have a fancy new gizmo. It's a trivet with handles, make it a little bit easier to pull any big piece of meat out of the pressure cooker. We have uh, about a cup and a half of water. We're gonna pour straight in there. I have my ham wrapped in foil. I've got heavy duty foil and it is, I've got three 
three layers of foil. This is the key because you really want to wrap your foil for the best taste and moisture that you will get out of this ham, especially once you drench it with all of the beautiful juices that we're gonna add. As you can see, I make a nice little space for our marinade and just pour that straight over the top. All those nice pineapples and Got one little pineapple here. You want to take this foil and just fold it over and pinch it. Wrap it nice and tight. Push it down into the pressure cooker. And you can see with the handles of our new trivet, maybe we can push this a little bit tighter. See if we can close this up here, perfect. So that closes in the ham, makes it nice and tight. All of those flavors and juices are all gonna cook inside with that ham. It is gonna be very flavorful, very tasty, and super moist. Now the key at this point is the timing. Make sure that your pressure valve is closed. then a cook of 18 minutes, we will be doing a natural release on this ham. So hopefully 30 to 40 minutes, we will have a perfect ham ready for your holiday meal. And today's cocktail of the day, perfect for the holidays. Little bit of champagne with some OJ, mimosas. Mimosas are great around the holiday. Any champagne that you want to use, fill up your Champagne glass, close to the top, maybe three quarters of the way. I told you I saved this OJ. We got about four ounces left. Pour a little bit of OJ in the top there. Look at that refreshing cocktail. Mimosas for today's drink, cocktail of the day. Cheers, happy holidays, and Merry Christmas. Okay, we have just done a natural re release, which only took about three to five minutes. The actual cook time, as I mentioned, was 18 minutes, and it only took less than five minutes to get up to pressure. So you got five, 10, eight, 28 minutes. Here we are. We are ready to open this up and get our beautiful holiday ham. Remember, I'm all about safety. You're always gonna open it up away from you. Let me grab our little holiday mitt. It's not hot, but I'd rather grab it anyways. And we're gonna pull that off. I've got our lid taken off. Easily lift this, it's not even hot. We've dropped it into our extra foil pan that I have here. It's nice and deep. So we will open this up. Look at the fantastic ham with all of the pineapple. Just wonderful. That is gonna be a phenomenal meal this evening. At this point, I usually just cut down a corner of the foil. And with a couple of mitts just drain the juice straight into this pan want to make sure that we have all those juices because we're going to heat up these juices back in the pressure cooker with some cornstarch so we can baste the top of this ham and throw it in the broiler for about five minutes to have a nice crispy coating put that right here and we're going to empty this water. Make sure you empty this water. And then we're just going to pour the juices straight. 
straight back into the pressure cooker. And we're going to hit the saute button. That will heat up very quickly. In the meantime, I'm going to make a little cornstarch slurry. So maybe two tablespoons. I've got about three or four ounces of cold, cold water in here, which will keep it from clumping. Mix that up. And we're going to thicken this sauce up just a little bit. Got that mixed. Pour that straight in for our baste that we will put straight over our ham. That will just take a few minutes. You can see it's coming to a boil, so we will turn that off and it takes about uh, three or four minutes. And at this point, just take it, make sure you use a couple of mitts and pour that straight over our holiday ham. Look at those juices, just beautiful. I kept it right inside the foil. As you guys know, I had three layers, so that's fine. And last but not least, just a little bit more brown sugar on the top. Can't hurt. Take this out, even though I put a little bit of that brown sugar on top, just like that. And we have our broiler set. We'll transfer this over to our broiler. Straight in. We've just pulled out our honey ham. It is brown. The brown sugar has caramelized on the top. Beautiful pineapples. We're going to transfer this straight over to our plate. We've got the spiral slices. Fantastic, glistening, succulent ham. I'm gonna scoop out some of this beautiful juice. Pour that all over our ham. We've got the juices. We'll save a little bit. Just phenomenal. Look at this fantastic, amazing, juicy, succulent ham. Pull that right off. You can cut it almost with your fork. Let's take a little piece here, put it in some of this really tasty sauce. Mm, amazing ham. Perfect ham for the holidays. It is tasty. It is succulent. You're going to love to share this with your friends and family. Have a happy new year. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And as always, if you ain't cooking under pressure, you ain't cooking.